Hello friends, you are watching Civil 3D Pro Designer. Do you know how to take cross section for grading in AutoCAD Civil 3D? If not, then it's video for you. Actually, I have a question from my Facebook page member that how can we create cross section for grading in AutoCAD Civil 3D? So we will start our exercise uh, it will not depend on our steps but actually I will just resolve this issue and explain that how can we create cross section for our grading in AutoCAD Civil 3D before starting if you are new on my youtube channel kindly subscribe Civil 3D Pro Designer and press the bell icon to get latest notification about more informative videos and if you have any issue you can also access through my facebook page civil 3d pro designer here you can see we have many more material about land surveying and civil 3d so let's start our video for the topic I have a drawing I will delete some unnecessary entities and here we have here surface for civil 3d I will change the style for surface I am detaching the image actually it was the geolocation uh, for uh, location so we have a surface existing surface and now we will create some little grading it will not explanation for the grading but just for the cross section which we can take on uh, any grading so uh, if I told you about a uh, quick cross section you can uh, put any line on your surface and then select this line you can go for quick profile okay uh, here we have quick profile so you can select your surface okay and uh, then it will show you your part according to your this line this red line is showing your surface so it is a very simple method but uh, I will told you about grading that how can you um, create cross section for grading for example we have this location and we want to draw a house here it is a hilly area and we want to build house here and so we will just create uh, some grading for this surface uh, for that I need to annotate my surface with uh, levels so I can create some levels with this line you can hide this line actually so we have some uh, labels 815 and here we have 800 so we can convert our polyline into feature line poly feature line and go to the feature line from object press enter and give the name anything you can assign elevation okay and here you will give the elevation for this I will put at one five feet and okay so it's your feature line now I will drag grading quickly grading 
creation tools and here you need to select the name for grading i can say like proposed surface and automatic creation of surface you can select anything here i will keep that as design and uh, press ok then again you will select here surface here we have a surface and uh, we will go according to grade to the surface and here you will get create surface create grading so right mm, down you can see select the right side of the grading uh, select the grading side so it's our outside and we need to uh, uh, entire length yes and then slope two in one and fill slope two in one also and it will create some grading for you here you can see we have grading so we can also check that in uh, object viewer so it has not infill we can draw infill creation tools and again create infill click inside and we have grading okay select again and go into the object viewer you can see we have a nice surface for our building pad so it's just example and i draw that very quickly let's uh start our process for the cross section that how can we create cross section for grating in autocad civil 3d for that actually we need to draw an alignment first go into the alignment alignment creation tools and um, give the name anything for example you want to take the section a a and b b so for the first section a a you can take the name a a, a and then site you can put them any side it's not the issue for this alignment you will off labels no labels because we don't need any labels here we just want to take the cross section of our grading with existing ground so press ok it will open the alignment layout tools and go to the tangent tangent no curve so if we want to create our cross section like this we will put our alignment here you can put down put that very precisely uh, when you will work for any project just putting that uh, roughly so here we have alignment now close the alignment layout tools and then go to the sample lines okay sample line select your alignment and here you can say uh, sample line for cross section aa press ok and um, it will ask you for the station you can take any station here or on half of the uh, align it and it will ask you for the left width width you can type any width here as uh, i am putting 190 and again 190 for the right side you can see here we have a uh, sample line here so select this sample line and press uh, this grip here you can shift them here and now you have a sample line where we will cut our cross section you can move them anywhere here to see the cross section on your uh, desired location actually so if we have sample line now select this sample line and go to the create section view okay here you must need to confirm that your alignment is aa and sample line is aa also you can also uh, manage them according to your alignment's name and sample line name 
give the section name here a a and next 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 and here if you want to choose the label for your cross sections you can select e g for propose you must need to select f g and okay then here we have terrain one so it will be main existing ground another one will be finished ground press okay then next and create section view okay and outside of the surface press you can see here we have a cross section of our this sample line this sample line we have here cross section if you are feeling something like uh, uh, frustrating or due to these label you can delete or you can manage these labels here you can see when you hover your cursor it will show you that it is our finish ground level so it is our finish ground surface you can see if you want to see a good cross section you can go section properties and uh, ah sorry uh, section view properties and section view styles you will see here vertical scale you can increase and decrease apply you will see some something better than before so here you have labels for your cross sections and you can manage these labels actually it is extended uh, due to our cross uh, sample line here we have sample line here if you will decrease your sample line here it will decrease because it is working dynamically so you can see it's not less than before uh, you can change any uh, color of your uh, profile of uh, proposed line and here you have also your existing ground it is our existing ground and another one is our proposed ground so you can sh show any a uh, ground on your section view of your grading it can be uh, many surfaces for your proposed grading so you can manage them according to your design hope you like this video if you like kindly subscribe my youtube channel civil 3d pro designer and press the bell icon to get latest notification about videos